I'm Kat and this tutorial is how to make this super fast and simple braided embroidery floss and chain bracelet with these little tassels and a clasp on the end. I think the most expensive part of this was probably the clasp. I had a big box of these. I think I got 50 of them for probably $3 at Michael's. You can also get them online if you don't have a craft store nearby. The split rings were 50 pieces in a box for $2.50 and I had a bunch of the jump rings. I get them super cheap online. Uh, the embroidery floss was on sale today so I got three skeins for less than a dollar and I had the chain already but you can pick some up really cheap any craft store get it online you can crank out a whole bunch of these these are great party activities if you want to get every single color of embroidery floss you can imagine make them in every color get together have your friends have a bracelet making party super fast super simple and pretty hard to mess up for this you'll need some embroidery floss some chain one of these little things that you use to take out staples or you can just ruin your nails but I'm not really down with that some wire cutters, scissors, three small jump rings, a clasp, and these wonderful split rings or a solid ring that doesn't have a tiny gap that stuff can fall out of. Start by measuring several lengths of each color. You're going to want these lengths to be about 14 inches long and you can make them as thick or as thin as you like. I'm going to do a few of each. Next, you'll want to take one of your split rings and use this little doohickey to open it up. And that way, you open it up, you're not going to tear up your fingernails, and it makes life wonderful. Then you're going to take the end of your chain and feed it onto there. I've got two lengths of chain, but you can do this with just one. Really, whatever you feel like doing kind of goes with this. Once that's on there, just rotate it till it's all the way on. It's voila. Next you'll take your string, twist the ends a bit, feed it through the loop, and tie a knot. Make sure that's good and tight. You can trim off the excess. Now if you have a clipboard that makes this a bit easier, otherwise just kind of hold down the end of your bracelet with something. Next divide your three colors of string into three sections. I gave myself a little bit less of the pink thread because I wanted to pair that up with my chains and next I'm just going to braid these three together. Once you're done braiding those together, figure out exactly how big you want your bracelet to be. Remember there's going to be a little bit extra space for the clasp, so measure just how much you need to get it around your wrist, and then cut the chain at that measurement. Be careful not to cut your embroidery floss while you do this step. Open up another split ring. and then feed the ends of the chain through it. Once you've done that, twist the ends of your embroidery floss. Feed them through that loop. And tie a knot on this end, just the way you did on the opposite end. Now to make sure you get the measurement of this right, pull on this hoop and then coax the knot to the best measurement so that you're not going to have any slack or weird sections on your bracelet. Make sure your knot is really tight and then cut off the excess. Next use your jump rings to attach your clasp. make a loop on the other end of your bracelet. 
If you wanted, you could attach the clasp directly onto the jump ring if your clasp has a large enough loop there, or you could hook it directly onto the loop at this end. I just think this clasp is so small, I prefer this little loop. And that is your finished bracelet.